the offseason might be the most exciting time of the year. So what team or teams are you guys most excited to see this offseason? Like what moves are you are you anticipating any moves for any specific teams? What teams are you watching more closely than others? The one the one I'm landing on is is Philly, just because I think their like entire team is going into free agency. Mm-hmm. So they have so many like you said about OKC, they have so many avenues they they can go to. Is they it be careful? Yeah, is it Paul yeah. George? Is it, I think that's probably the guy at the top of their yeah. list. I think or Jimmy not, Butler. I think if it's not Paul what George, Philly Sixers. Yeah, oh, okay. Philadelphia. I think if it's not yeah. Paul George, they fucked up. Yeah, if it's not Paul oh, George, no. I know there is Listen, like bro. other avenues. The Browns not going to no Philly. Probably not. But Jimmy, oh, <laughs> Jimmy Butler. There it is. That's the move that I think bro. is the move. Jimmy's not leaving. The I don't think Jimmy's going. No, Jimmy's not going there. But if they're not Jimmy's willing to give Miami, him an, if they're not yeah. willing to give him a long term extension, he's getting the fuck out of. If Philly will give him like a four year deal and Miami max won't. contract, bro, yeah. he's leaving. He's out of there, and then it will be Max and Tobias MB. Harris is off the team. So like W, you know, exactly. That's just not the guy I want next to Embiid. I don't think really. It, it was so it was so good though. Or Tobias. <laughs> It no, was good. No, no one wants to buy us next anyone. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They I were insane. They still have Ben Simmons was insane. Yeah, man, I can't believe that. Ben Simmons was yeah, was something else. Forgot Tyrese. that man. Was <laughs> right. a, forgot that man was a human. Respect to Tyrese Maxey, but no. Yeah, respect ben to Tyrese. Tyrese is damn good. Tyrese is a no, ben Tyrese Simmons a dog. was moving differently though, yeah. especially like when Jimmy was there. Like Ben Simmons was moving differently. Yeah, yeah. But I think um, Maxey's the perfect third guy to them too. Like. And it's we just saw that he's a capable second guy. That yeah, if no, you move Tyrese Maxey's the... sick. I just don't know if I would rather. I I don't know if I'd rather Paul George than Jimmy. I don't know. I would I definitely would rather, rather Paul George. Yeah. George, and yeah. Paul George yeah. for, for that comfort for, for that right. trio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. But I'm not. But like, it's Paul George and like then Jimmy Butler for the Jimmy's fit. not the yeah, type of guy who like plays off of so and so. If he doesn't have the ball in his hands, like we've seen Jimmy like for his many playoff moments as he has like we see jimmy disappear a yeah. lot yeah like a good amount hell yeah bro. Think and it's just like man. he's just not really effective without the ball in his hands honestly on offense and you got to get the ball to him being like he's not I, I he's not effective i don't know how the fuck that worked having ben simmons and jimmy <laughs> butler now that i think about it next to him being, that's what that i'm work. saying but i just i don't know I, but it did yeah, maybe I got to go back and watch some tape. But if I'm Philly, I want shooting next to MB. That's the recipe is shooters. Could if, be. But if, now the if rest would... of your lineup is shooters. It's just Jimmy, who actually was capably shooting the three ball on low volume this year, too. Um, could see a little Brandon Ingram in Philly, too. I could see that. I definitely could see that. I think um, that's the order. It's Yeah, it's PG, Butler. Brandon and then, Ingram. Yeah, and then Ingram. Ingram's going to get traded. I think, I think so. Too. They were they were the other team I was considering New Orleans, because I think Ingram's gone. Yeah, I feel like I haven't thought much about New Orleans yet. There is like a lot to like. There's a lot to unpack. With, yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. New Orleans. yeah I think sure. Dejounte Murray might know. end up I'm there. I'm Philly, bro. It's Paul George or bust, bro. I'm sorry. I, I'm if, I'm throwing everything at Paul George. If too, they get I would agree. Jimmy Bowler, like it's cool, but yeah, I'm not. In that case. Yeah, something more than cool though. I disagree. Really? They're a title contender if they get yeah, it. Yeah, they're definitely yeah, they're a contender I with mean, Jimmy. A lot of people are big on Jimmy, but um well, Yeah. He brought a team to the finals twice. As second guy. I reading love reading him, but like you're talking role. you're yeah. talking yeah. Yeah. Like, capable. It's such he a did it with role. Philly, dude. That was I don't know. I don't know. I gotta go back and watch because I don't Look, I can't remember what the offense right. even looked like. I'm not going to sit here and say, like, oh, yeah, you're right. He was so good in Philly because I really don't remember. But I also think it, it what makes sense. What was the aspect. offense like? But, okay, but here's my question. So no. Philly was already a really good team, right? Yes. Now you get rid of this black hole in Tobias Harris and bring in Jimmy Butler. No, yeah, I'm not saying it doesn't fucking make them better. I just don't. You don't think it brings them the title contention? Would you have considered know. Philly a title take, contender? Yo, I don't want to take anything prior, away from Jimmy Butler. Like, it's no, not him. Prior to it's, the Embiid injury, bro, the guy hasn't fucking made it out of the second round. No, I'm just asking. They're I was just no asking title, a question. They're not no title contender until they fucking make a conference finals, bro. Like, I don't. Okay, Jimmy's been there, done that. Is all I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm getting. At. Yeah, I guess he brings that aspect. But what I'm actually talking about is like basketball the game that they play like i know jimmy has leadership and dog but i'm talking about like a basketball fit i just 
I don't know if you want to bring in a guy who's going to take the ball out of your young superstar Tyrese Maxey's hands. I think you want a Paul George who could play off of players. That, I, don't, that, yeah. I don't know how Jimmy Butler at this point in his career fits fits in to that team. I'd have to I'd have would, to see it. Yeah. Like, would Jimmy Butler improve improve the 76ers 100%? Like obviously he's better than had, Tobias Harris. If you had to choose between Paul George, Paul George I already, Tyler, I already said but, I, yeah, 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 I yeah, 100% still. George, yeah, but I don't you know, think I think but, this I think the Paul George or Bust thing is is just so not in true. terms of if you were curious uh, the year Jimmy was there, the Sixers were eighth in offensive rating per game. They were eighth in three point percentage, which is fucking back. crazy with Ben Simmons. Well, they had JJ and Toby. Yeah, they had JJ. JJ and Toby played well that Shit season. Shit ass Toby. Um, sixth in true shooting. They were, they were good off fourth in total, fourth in points per game. They were good offense. They were very good offense. I. I I don't see how it's worse. And J- I mean, Jimmy was averaging 18 I'm a game. I'm not saying they're good. Bro, no, he's definitely Jimmy not saying Butler they're worse. Is better than Tobias Harris. No, no, no. I'm not a fucking I'm idiot, I'm saying bro. than that, the eighth in the <laughs> NBA with Ben Simmons and Jimmy. I'm saying it, like it's got to be a better fit. You replace oh, they were ben also with- probably a great transition team because of Ben Simmons and his ability to get guys involved and that such. They don't have a true playmaker <laughs> like that, which could be a factor. I think Jimmy, Jimmy Butler is also. You do not know how good Ben Simmons was. Holy <laughs> fuck. A playmaker? Bro, no, bro, no. <laughs> Jimmy brings 80% of the playmaking ability that Ben Simmons brought. Yes. 80%. Anyways, um. <laughs> he did. He does. He simply like, does. This guy. Hmm. Where's Trunks? Trunks is a big Ben Simmons. Don't guy. get me wrong, Ben, ben was amazing. Simmons was a generational playmaking prospect, my friend. Mm. Generational. Gener- Jimmy Butler is a, like very good playmaker. He's a good play. Yes, he's a good playmaker. He's a good playmaker. He's a good playmaker for a forward. Yeah, Ben Simmons was a literal fucking point guard, bro. A literal point guard. Like, yeah, I think Jimmy Butler is definitely better at a lot of things than Ben Simmons, for sure. But, like, just because we like Jimmy Butler more and he didn't quit on the team and have back spasms doesn't make him a better playmaker. Like, let's I never said he was a better playmaker. I'm just saying 75 to 80 percent of— You just said 85 percent. I no, said, 80. said 80. Oh, yeah. I said 80. <laughs> the 5 percent, everybody. That 5 percent matters. 5 percent matters. Big difference. I don't know. I just don't—I don't know. I don't think it really— he he helps them and makes them a better team, but they also still have Joel Embiid on the team. I again don't. Me personally, I don't want to add a guy to take the ball out of Tyrese Maxey's hands. My thought process should be adding around Tyrese and Joel Embiid to complement them. I don't really think Jimmy Butler's game necessarily complements them that much, especially Tyrese Maxey. So if they whiff on Paul George, it's a loss. End up with Jimmy Butler. I don't think they're winning no championship. So if that's a loss for them, then yeah. Okay. I think. I don't think if they're really winning, I don't really think they're winning a championship with Paul George. I either. agree with yeah, you. No. I don't think they're winning a championship I, either way. I, so yeah, I think so. I think it's a loss no matter what they do. It, <laughs> I mean, yeah, but you still got to try to improve. Yeah, and I think Paul George like Paul George or Jimmy a, Butler give you a damn good shot. I think you know, Paul George being, gives them a legitimate yeah. chance if they're healthy. I. I don't know how. All I'm saying is, I just don't know how Jimmy Butler fits, and you're getting in your fucking feelings about it, bro. <laughs> no, I, look, I'm not disagreeing. My but point Kiki. is just that Paul George fits in seamlessly. Jimmy Butler, not so much. Jimmy Butler, thing, a lot of things have to change. Jimmy Butler is a guy who is good with the ball, and he's he's such a good playmaker, right? He's such a good playmaker. How how is he gonna make plays? How well, do you no, make, I know. How but, do you make plays? Do you, but, with the ball in your hands or not in your hands? But does it? How do you make plays? But here's the thing. How do you Chris? make plays? You obviously make plays with the ball in your fucking hands. So but we how just, does that help? But it's also you could also make plays without the ball in your hands too. But how does Jimmy Butler make most of his plays? I think Jimmy Butler is more than capable of playing a different style of basketball at times and deferring to yeah, Tyrese. We, I, all, right. So let's let's see. All I'm saying is I don't know how the pecking order and how it would fucking work. That's all I'm fucking saying. Paul George, you insert him there, you know exactly how it's going to work. It's going to be Joel Embiid. It's going to be Tyrese Maxey. And then Paul George will get his and find his. They, it's a simple pecking Harris. order with Paul George. He's gone. <laughs> Jimmy Butler's just been the guy for fucking four years. 
just been the guy for four years. Had the ball in his hands the whole fucking time. I'm not disagreeing. I know I agree. But I'm just so what do you get? I think he'd be willing to take a step back. Is all I'm saying. Like I'm sure he would, but Jimmy Butler's skill set I think great players can make it work. You're missing the point. His skill set is better with the ball in his hands. So you're like, oh, but you're getting Jimmy Butler. He just took a team to the finals two times, actually. He took a team to the finals. If he has to change his skill set because he's so great, you're not getting that version of Jimmy Butler. It's math. You give and take. I, I don't know. I still I still. What do you mean you don't know? What don't you know about what I just said? What because I think a great player like that will still obviously get the ball enough. He's still going to get the ball a lot, quite a bit. To play to his strengths, given that he's going to be second or third best player on the team. And we've seen that Tyrese Maxey, when he doesn't have the ball in his hands also, is an incredibly efficient 22 or 23. So you put the ball more. When's Tyrese Maxey at his best? What we just saw this season, right? That's not, that's just not necessarily true though. Because if I can also get a Tyrese Maxey, just that's... almost beat your fucking team by himself. Whoa, by whoa, his whoa, own whoa, self. whoa! What the fuck do we do? <laughs> no, we're gonna bring us into this. He dropped fucking like forty on you guys in the playoffs with the fucking ball. But I'm ball just saying, when he hands, didn't like... constantly have the ball in his hands, he was a 50, 40, 90, 22 point per game guy. Right, but he's pro- he just showed this season that he's better with an expanded. He was a fucking almost all NBA player this season. Like he showed that he's better with the ball. And what I'm saying is, Jimmy Butler takes the ball out of his hands. Doesn't provide spacing, and it just it might not be as seam. All I'm saying is it might not be the, this seamless fit. You're no, making it like Jimmy I didn't Butler's say. I didn't say that. That's not game. why I started arguing. I started arguing because you said it's Paul George or because bust, I think which I disagree. I think, but I think it's Paul George or bust, and I'm explaining it to you. And you're uh, like I'm explaining with, my side <laughs> of why it's not Paul. Those George are podcasting, bust. right? But you're saying that. <laughs> That Jimmy Butler is so great right because now. he led a team to the finals mm. two times. What I'm saying is if he comes to Philly, he won't be playing that role. So I would need to see how it would all fit before I could say they'd be a title contender or anything like that. Paul George, it's clearly obvious how everything would fit. You don't have to see it. It's pretty it, – it works itself out. Jimmy Butler's game has been having the ball in his hands for the past four years. Yeah, he was really good on Philly, but that's just it, like that was fucking four or five years ago. We're talking about like this is this is going to be twenty twenty five. We're going into, so it's it's different, and it's also a different team. It's Cyrus Maxey's team now. It's you know, no Ben Simmons. No, you don't have a sniper like JJ Redick who make up for a lot of the spacing. I guess you have Buddy Heald, but he barely even played in the playoffs for you, so will he even play for them? You're going to be starting fucking Tyrese Maxey, Kyle Lowry, Jimmy Butler, whoever, and then Joel Embiid. Uh, shooting guard's probably going to end up being De'Anthony Melton or something like that. So you're going to start was... Tyrese Maxey, Kyle Lowry, De'Anthony well, Melton. Well, no, 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 no. I'm saying you, Kyle Lowry isn't starting. He I'm saying for next season playoffs. it would be. I don't think he's starting next season. Come start of next season, though. De'Anthony Melton was hurt. He likely would have been the starter. Okay, Kyle so Lowry, Tyrese Maxey, DeAnthony Melton, Jimmy Butler, whoever, and Joel Embiid. I don't tell you, Bray. Yeah, that doesn't really scream championship contender at me. If it's Paul George, I I actually could see them being literally the best offense in the NBA. Like they might have an actual advantage if they, if they get Jimmy, they're a pretty damn good team. But like they are now, they're pretty damn. I really don't think. Maybe Jimmy's dog will persevere, but in terms of basketball, it's really just not the greatest fit. That's not the type of guy that you want around Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey, especially when there's a guy on the market who's a perfect fit. Jimmy Butler's not... Like, if you're whiffing on the perfect fit to get a guy who's a damn good player, a great player, but isn't really the ideal fit, and you're whiffing on the guy who's a really damn good, great player and is a perfect fit, then you missed. And that's my point. You met, Paul George is the perfect fit. If you miss the perfect fit, you miss. Jimmy Butler could be good for them, and maybe he can take them, them to those sites. I don't really know, but on paper, basketball fit-wise, from what we've seen from everybody involved in this party over the past few years, like if you don't get Paul George, you missed. Mm. It's pretty simple. I don't know. Same thing with Brandon Ingram. Like, Brandon Ingram's a great player. I don't know how the fuck he fits in yeah, there. Yeah, that's... Like, why yeah, the fuck yeah. would they go get Brandon Ingram? 
Right, but Brendan Ingram's a, it's the same thing as Jimmy Butler. He's effective with the ball. Maybe Jimmy brings more defensively, and Jimmy has dog, I guess. But, like, in terms of offensively, which is my whole point I was making, it's the same thing. Jimmy Butler's more effective with the ball in his hands. The same thing with, with Brandon Ingram. And when you have a guy like Joel Embiid and you have a guy like Tyrese Maxey, who is borderline All-NBA by giving him an in- increased role, like, are they really going to keep fucking playing with Tyrese Maxey's role? That's what they're going to do to but, try and get Jimmy Butler. They've been playing with this man his whole career, changing his But they role, just gave him a bag. Right. So, like, it, it really doesn't No, but it matters. Matter for, to right, this thing. guy has to keep changing his fucking game. Let him just fucking grow. You, you don't want to get Jimmy Butler and, like, take the— Yeah, he was great as an off-the-ball player, but also he just proved he's a fucking borderline All-NBA player with the ball in his hands. Like, no, I agree, but I still think like you Like, you get- want a guy to fit into what you're doing, not— You don't want to bring in a guy to fucking have to change everything. Jimmy Butler requires a lot more change, a lot changing more, than than Paul George. A lot, yeah, yeah. More, like a significant amount more, a significant amount more. Paul George, you literally plug him in, you're good to go. You don't have to fucking change shit. He is. You don't he have still to change requires shit. the ball a little bit. Paul George, yeah, he'll get his. Amount, Tobias yeah. was able to get his shots. Well, yeah, Tobias is Tobias. <laughs> and I'm like, like they'll all get their shots. Like, I, it's a fucking NBA. They play 48 minutes of fucking. Like, they'll get their shots. They're fucking making millions and millions of dollars. So the coaches will make sure the guys who get paid will get their fucking shots. But Paul George, you plug him in, and you don't really need to change. He can play off Embiid. He could play off Tyrese Maxey and still get his 15 shots, whatever the fucking case may be. Jimmy Butler, to get his shots and be really effective on offense, needs to initiate the offense and change the offense. 